Hello, my name is Jonathan Pan, Vice President of Internal Affairs, and here is a tutorial on one-on-one -on -one tutoring. First, we're going to go over how to create an account, and then move on to setting up your time slots, then the expectations to follow when we're tutoring, and finally, my experience with one-on-one -on -one tutoring. So first, when we're creating an account, we would head to the Junior Coach website, and under Join Us, we would click Become a Junior Coach. Then you will see an application form, which you'll need to fill out. On the very bottom, don't forget to also fill out the waiver and release form, which is equally as important. And after you fill out these forms, it will take a few days to set up your account, so you may just wait. When it is ready, you should fill out your biography. Your biography should include your name, grade, or topics you prefer or can tutor. It can also, you can also add things like your interests, hobbies, or things you do during your free time, or anything you feel like is necessary. When we're setting up our schedule, we would first assuming that we're logged in already to the website, we would first head to the settings section in appointments, and then we will see a full week's worth of your schedule. You would then set up time slots on days where you prefer to tutor. For example, if I would like to tutor at four o'clock on a Saturday, I would click add time slots under Saturday set the time and how long. Each time slot is 30 minutes long. So if you would like to tutor for more than that, make sure you add multiple of these single slots or you use the bulk function, which allows you to add for more than 30 minutes per time slot. It is also important to note that these time slots are on a weekly basis. So if you set up time slots for Saturday, assuming that there are students that book all of the classes, it would be every single week on a Saturday at 4 p.m. Once your students do book your lesson, you should email them as soon as possible. One of the main reasons for this is to just get to know them and to figure out how you guys are going to meet. Mostly, or most students or tutors use Zoom. And so if you are using Zoom, you would email them your Zoom link for the meeting. And apart from general introductions, you would want to ask the student or their, or their parents how they want to be taught, because some students might just need help with their homework from school. Um, but other students might want to go ahead of what they're learning in school. And in that case, you would need to prepare your own materials or outside materials, whatever you can find that helps. When we're tutoring, one of the, mo one of the most basic expectations is that you do attend the lessons that you create as on your schedule or the ones that are booked by your students. Because when you are setting those time slots, you are assuming that there is a possibility that all of those time slots will be booked. And so you should keep that in mind as you're setting up your schedule, making sure you have good balance between tutoring and other things that you do need to do. However, it is important that you have at least two hours worth of tutoring or time slots that are open per month because we are really big on act activeness. And if we see that you are not active, we will definitely act on it. And another big basic thing is that you're being respectful. And that applies to both the teacher and the student. And because one-on-one -on -one tutoring is really mostly free, unless the student's parents have really strict rules that you have to follow, Generally, you can set up the class however you want. So if you would like to assign homework, add quizzes, tests, reviews, any games that would make the classes more interesting, you can. If you know you'll miss a class, 
please email the student or their parents as soon as possible, making sure that you tell them a few days before instead of the day before or the day of. After you do tutor, you should record all of your hours to the junior coach volunteer log form so that we could validate those hours. And if you do have enough, that you can apply for the President's Volunteer Service Award, which will look good on your resume. As for my experience with tutoring, patience, I think I've mentioned this before, is really, really important because you need to make sure you're always patient, patient with your students, needing to explain some concept more than once, if not three or five times is totally normal. As especially kids that are on the younger scale. But honestly, patience is important no matter the age of the student. And it's a really, really useful skill to have when you're tutoring someone. Some useful materials that you could use include Khan Academy or Prodigy for the younger students. You could also use resources from past clubs, which I will talk about later. And those include the documents for Wordly Wise or Singapore Math Clubs. You can also prepare your own presentations if that helps you. And lastly, just have fun with the classes. It's always nice when you develop a really good relationship with the student to make the classes easier and more fun when you're teaching them. And moving on from one-on-one -on -one tutoring, Clubs are another way to gain volunteer hours and to help and tutor people. The main difference is that clubs will have multiple people being taught at the same time, but also it is much more free in terms of the topic. Past topics were about flute, English, math, Spanish, Chinese, and even some sports. And so it really depends on your preference and what you want to teach. And the main process for that is through emails, expressing interests, and telling us information about the club, like the topic and when you would want the club. We would then make flyers, as you can see on the right for you, and get the people who are interested enrolled in your club. Here is a list of all of the contacts. If you would like, you can take a quick screenshot of it. But this is a YouTube video, so you can always go back and go to this exact place and take a look at it again. And finally, I just want to give a really big thank you for listening. If you have any other questions, you can always visit the Junior Coach website or use the contact list. And welcome to the Junior Coach family. Have fun tutoring.